Uh, hello everybody. So uh, in today's video, uh, we're gonna go over what's in my work, my work bag, my treatment bag. Uh, basically, um, I'm just starting uh, uh, setting up a new, a new bag, a spare bag that I'm gonna uh, be keeping in the truck. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna take the time now to just go over uh, basically all the essentials and everything that I use in that, that I have in that bag that I carry with me uh, into a job um, when, I'm, when I'm called. All right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, the, the stuff that's in my bag, I'm gonna divide it into three, uh, three categories. Uh, the first cat uh, category is your PPE. Uh, again, the personal protection equipment that we need, that uh, essential to, uh, to get our job done and do it, uh, get it done safely. Um, I'm gonna go over uh, the chemicals uh, that I carry in my bag. And then that's number two. And then number three is gonna be the tools, essential tools uh, that you need uh, that should be in that bag so that you can get the job done correctly. All right guys, so the, uh, when we're talking about the PPEs, one of the most important ones that uh, it's a must, and again, I do, I use it all the time, uh, is your mask, right? N95 mask, you're not only gonna protect yourself from the, uh, any, any, uh, any element that's in the rooms that you're gonna go into, but you're also protecting yourself uh, from the chemicals, right? The BNG, typically those chemicals don't really go airborne unless you're spraying up above your shoulder or up on top of a cabinet. Uh, particularly when you're spraying uh, the uh, aerosols, the cans, they do, they do have a tendency to go airborne. So masks are very, very important. Okay, next uh, are the, uh, the gloves, right? Uh, gloves are very important always. Uh, again, besides the mask and your glove, Again, the gloves, uh, they need to be nitro, uh, right? Uh, it's recommended by the companies that we use, uh, the, the chemicals that we use, uh, those companies always recommend when handling those chemicals that, they, that we use nitro uh, gloves. Um, another reason and very important reason to use gloves, uh, it's also not only to protect your skin, but another, uh, the other uh, reason is when we're handling or treating for mice, uh, rodents, it's important that we don't touch anything uh, when you're putting down whether it's a bait station, a trap, or the bait itself, uh, that you don't handle it with your bare hands. Uh, again, uh, they're, the mice are very sensitive to oil, to the smell on our skin. So anytime you touch anything that has to do with rodents, they may eventually go into the trap or eat the bait, but it takes a lot longer. So the, uh, the, the best way to handle anything to do with rodents is with gloves. Make sure that you have gloves on when, uh, also to get a, the best, uh, best possible uh, uh, result when uh, dealing with rodents. Okay, the uh, other one, <clears throat> the other, other PPE that I carry in, the, in my bag is um, a pair of uh, foot, uh, these little footsies, right? Uh, you don't need them all the time, uh, but you may run into a customer that wants, uh, before you go into their home, they may want you to take off your, your, your shoes. I prefer not to do that. So I always carry these, uh, these little the, uh, uh, disposable footsies. Again, I put them all in my boots, uh, over my work shoe, and, uh, and that's that. All right, so now we're gonna go over the, um, uh, the chemicals, the chemicals that I have in my bag. Again, I carry many more uh, in, my, uh, in my truck, but the stuff that we carry in the bag that are essential to doing uh, a call when you go into a home, uh, whether it's for roaches or rodents, these are the essentials that work for me. Uh, and that you should be carrying in your bag. All right, so when we're doing, uh, when we're dealing with rodents, um, again, I have uh, carry bait. This is uh, what you're looking at here, uh, it's called soft, uh, soft bait. Uh, again, rodents, uh, depending on uh, the environment, uh, they typically, they're again, they're very finicky. They either like the dry bait or the soft bait. Soft bait, um, because of the oils in these baits, uh, they do. They also it also acts as a lure. Uh, so you're all you can't go wrong with the soft bait. Uh, whether the environment is wet or, or dry, uh, they uh, this usually works. So it's always a good thing to have uh, soft bait uh, with your uh, uh, for your rodent uh, uh, for your rodent jobs. I also use a hard bait. Uh, again, hard baits I use them in, in the basements in areas where there's. Um, uh, where there's a lot of water, a lot of moisture. Uh, sometimes I may have to use both. If we put these down and you come back a second time, they're not, they're not biting these, then you go ahead and put the, the hard bait and those usually uh, may, may work as well. Um, the other stuff that we have in the bag, 
uh, again, that I always have with me are the aerosols, right? I carry different different types. Uh, again, this particular one is PT Fendona. I'm not endorsing any particular company, but uh, this one works pretty well. Uh, the aerosols um, that we use, they do uh, have a little bit of a smell, so you always gotta, I always give the, the customer a heads up the, that the aerosol is gonna be, uh, uh, you're gonna have a little bit of a smell uh, uh, during, a, you know, during the treatment, and then it, it lasts for a few, uh, few minutes after we're gone. But aerosols, again, that's why it's also important to make sure you use your mask when you're using these guys. Very good for cracking crevice. Um, if you have to do, uh, if you have a problem, we have to flush uh, the, ro the roaches out of the crevices, out of the backs of the, of the cabinets or behind the sink, these, these work really well, all right? So we have uh, either one, either one is fine. Yeah, this is, in this case, this is D-Force. I use also another product called Defense. Uh, they have uh, several others, but these particular ones are the ones that work for me and that I use uh, regularly. Um, uh, the other stuff that the other chemicals that we carry and uh, that I carry in my bag always, uh, we're always gonna have these little tubes that you see here. We have uh, this tube uh, particular here on my left is a uh, uh, this is for a roach uh, roach bait, uh, and then and I also have uh, when the when the season uh, comes because uh, uh, typically uh, from March on uh, into or April basically April to late late uh, November. In this area where we live, we get ants, right? We have an issue with ants. If you're in an area where you get ants all the time, so you're, you're definitely gonna need one of these all the time. So again, these uh, this particular brand is Max Force. Advion also makes a uh, an ant bait. Um, they have several different ones. Uh, I use, uh, for as far as the gels are concerned, for the roaches, I use Advion, I use Vendetta. They also have Max Force, also has a, a, a roach bait. Again, uh, you, you also, it's a good idea to switch up uh, your baits, uh, not always, especially, especially if you're uh, your monthly customers that uh, you want them to all the time, it's a good idea to switch up the baits every couple of months. Okay, so that's, so we have the sprays and the baits. Um, and the other part, the other part of the, uh, <clears throat> it's not a chemical, but <clears throat> it's part of the, uh, it's not a chemical, but it's also an essential part of of uh, what we're putting down are the, the glue boards, right? Um, again, these come with a, uh, they're pre-scented, right? If you smell, uh, they have a slight smell, a smell of uh, peanut butter uh, on them. Uh, so these, the, uh, the baits, uh, the, uh, the glue boards are fantastic. I use these quite a bit. Uh, so I always have a bunch in my bag. They're not only good for, for rodents, they're good for uh, crawling insects. They'll catch uh, centipedes, uh, the, uh, they'll catch uh, ants, roaches, uh, you'll get uh, spiders, a any crawling insect will be attracted to this. They particularly uh, work really, really well um, with, uh, if, you're, if you're in an area we got, we have water bugs, the big, uh, um, the water bugs, uh, big, uh, big cockroaches, right? If you get those in your area, these typically in the, near the drains or in the basements or on the ground floors of the, um, um, of, the, of the building. Uh, I think they're also called Palmetto. Palmetto is down south, uh, in south, uh, the south of the, of the United States. If you get those types of roaches, these are fantastic. These work really well. The lure and these uh, traps attract those uh, roaches, those uh, water bugs quite a bit. So these work uh, really well. All right, so next we're gonna go over uh, the tools. Again, uh, you, these tools may vary depending on the need that you have or the type of work that you're doing. But these again, these are my essential tools that I that I carry with me all the time. All right. Uh, first and foremost, uh, right. You gotta have. You have to have a very good uh, a good flashlight. Uh, when I started in the business, I used to buy uh, uh, flashlights, right? That you replace the battery. I strongly, strongly recommend that you get yourself a, a uh, uh, invest in a uh, flashlight. Uh, in my case, I have four in my truck. Um, rechargeable flashlights. Um, again, if you're starting, if you're new in the business, it's good to have spares uh, because a couple of things will happen. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, you may lose it. You may leave it at a job or you know, drop it uh, from your pocket or drop it somewhere uh, out of your bag. It falls off the bag. God knows what could happen. But again, you can't go into a, into a, into a job without, without a good flashlight. So it's very, very important. Uh, another another tool that I use uh, again again this may be so, something new to, uh, to, uh, to you or uh, other people in the, in the business but uh, I found that this particular tool is very very handy this is a mechanics uh, magnet that they use to uh, 
to pull up uh, screws and nuts and stuff like that when they fall into the engine. Uh, what I do, I carry this little extendable with me. Uh, and the reason I use it uh, for is, again, when I throw down, uh, when I'm putting down um, the glue boards, uh, when I make them into little boxes, uh, I extend this and I can push, right? I can push the box, uh, the, the glue board, uh, all the way to the back of the stove, behind, you know, all the way back to, uh, in the back of the refrigerator. Uh, because it has a metal tip, I, I use, um, I like, you'll see in my videos, I also I use uh, what they call the Catchmaster, uh, Catchmaster flat traps. And those are galvanized steel with the with the magnet tip. Uh, I can pick those out. I, br I put those under under equipment uh, in the restaurants or in in, uh, in the supermarkets. Uh, with the with the metal tip with the magnet tip, I can pull those uh, pull those uh, uh, those traps out. So again, one of these extendables works fantastic. Uh, also helps you if you have to get your RTUs. Sometimes the RTUs are again behind uh, equipment be on a corner of a stove, in a corner of a refrigerator, rather than move the refrigerator stove, you have an extendable, right? If you have one of these, they extend pretty far, so you have a better reach, um, and they collapse to almost nothing. So it takes no room in your bag, fantastic tool to have. Um, and two other tools that I that I have, uh, again, uh, you can't go out, with, we can't go without a blade. The blade, you're gonna need it to sometimes cut the glue, uh, glue boards if you're gonna cut them in half. Uh, to put them in the uh, in the traps, as you see in my videos, I cut them in half to put them in the uh, in the flat uh, the cash mass of uh, metal traps. Um, screwed uh, flathead, right? To um, sometimes you got again uh, if you have the extendable or the flathead, uh, you may be able to use it as a reaching tool. But I also use it uh, when we're doing when we're covering crevices. Um, again, in this case, this is just a cheap steel, right? Cheap steel metal that I use. Uh, I carry this in my bag all the time, whether it's the steel. Uh, the preferred material to use in the industry and the business is copper, right? So if you're running out of copper and you have uh, a piece of this, uh, of this material, uh, it's, just, it's fantastic to have in your, in your bag. Uh, this material also uh, is very versatile. It's very easy to use. Um, what I do with this, again, if I, gotta, I can cut it to size. I bunch it up like this, bunch into a little, uh, little thin spot. And then here with the blade, you can actually snip this and you can cut pieces of this. So you can cut it to size of what you need, uh, for what you need in terms of uh, when you're covering a hole. Um, again, exclusion uh, is a big part of what we do, excluding, excluding rodents uh, from, uh, from an area. Uh, so that you're gonna need the wire mesh. Uh, once you get the wire mesh in, in place, then with the screwdriver, uh, you can stop the hole with the screwdriver uh, and the wire mesh. Um, another part of other tools uh, that, I, that I have with me, again, always very, very, very important is these guys. And again, this is, uh, again, if you're in the business, you know what this is. Uh, basically, this is a, uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, gel applicator, um, right? So then this is, uh, you can't go out, you can't use a tube. I mean, you can use a tube with, the, with your finger or pushing the, uh, the, salute, the, the gel down, but this works the best. So basically, it's just a little gun, and this will push the gel uh, out of the tube, right? So you have your, your gel applicator. Right, we have that. And last but not least, again, these are the essentials that I use. I sometimes may need something else, but this is what the basic stuff that we need in our bag. And last but not least, again, these are all different keys uh, that you see here. These are keys for different RTUs. Uh, for this particular one, this little triangular one, um, the company called Protecta makes these. Uh, I like these quite a bit. Again, they're compact. They're very thin. They're easy to put. You can put them flat, uh, flat ways, and you can put them in a corner. Like if you're in a corner, you can put it, put it right in the corner, so the rodent can come in through this way or that way. Uh, you can put, you can stand them up this way and slide them, uh, slide them on the side of a stove, on the side of the, of the uh, refrigerator. Uh, so these are very versatile. They go. They're very handy. They're put in different spots. Uh, and then these are, again, these are the keys. This particular one has, the, again, we use these keys uh, to open these up, right? Because these, again, I always emphasize, again, now I'm touching it now, obviously, right? Because I'm, I'm uh, as a demonstration. But when you're going to put these down, it's always important that we use that we use gloves. We don't want anything uh, on these. So what I normally do, what I'll do is I'll take some of the uh, the moist uh, the moist bait and I'll rub around it. I'll rub, I'll rub it uh, with it. 
just so that uh you know rather you know before closing it just so that i can get the if i've touched it like i like did right now uh so none, none of the smells from my skin are on this uh, on this uh, rtu again this is called a rodent treatment unit an rtu the bait goes in here uh it's it's a safety lock so it doesn't you know it's child proofed uh pet proof so the pets can't get in here uh only you can uh can open it with this with a special key so those are uh these are the tools that are, that we use all right hey and last but not least hey don't forget very very important in your bag in your wallet anywhere make sure you have uh make sure you have your business cards right i always carry these with me uh make sure you have a pen in this case look at that we have a a very popular blaze pest control pen uh so it's always a, a very important right you have your writing tool your, your business card uh again you, you don't know how uh, how often you're going to need these okay so hopefully uh, you guys are all set up with your pens your business card uh it's always a good idea to have them handy for your customers all right guys so this is the uh what the uh, pro what the bag looks like uh once you uh once you set it all up again you have your aerosols right we have um the uh, the baits the glue boards i have my keys in there uh for the different types of uh, rtus my my blade uh my ppe or i got extra mask we have the gloves flashlight the uh extendable i have the uh the gels that i use right here right the gels are right in here we have the uh, gel gun screwdriver and footsies uh, again, everything that you need. Uh, you know, I, I prefer not to make the bag too heavy. Remember, that's a good idea also to have, make sure you have a bag, get a bag uh, with a shoulder strap on it. Um, it's a good idea not to, you know, a bag that's not too heavy. You don't want a bag uh, that you have, you put too many things in there. You don't need all the extra stuff, just enough to get you by on that particular job. You could always replenish anything that's in here. You can replenish it in a truck when you go back to your truck. So remember, uh, you're going to be walking. Uh, a lot of the jobs that we do, we have to, uh, requires a lot of walking, especially if you're doing multiple apartments. So you're going to carry and just uh, fill it, refill it according to what you need for that particular job. Oh, also in there, again, I have the material that I need for excluding, and I have the, the RTU that I showed you earlier. Uh, these are all things, again, this is an essential, uh, this, this is the bag with just the bare essentials that you're going to need to do a couple of jobs, at least to get you going on that particular job. If you need more, you know, you could always go back to your truck uh, and replenish. All right, all right. So I hope you stuck around all the way to the end. Uh, thank you for sticking around. I hope the uh, the video was uh, helpful to you. If you found it, uh, that it was helpful uh, to you, please don't, don't, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'll greatly, greatly uh, help my channel. I'm trying to grow it, trying to stick around and uh, keep putting out some content for you guys, all right? So thank you again for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.